we have to do this right now? Look at her. Something's off. No, she was out of it this morning, like someone else was in her body. Is she a drinker? No. I mean, wine. Maybe somebody slipped a roofie. Yeah. Yeah, the victim was a doctor. I'll take a talk screen after you interview her. Why after? Why not do it now? We have to treat her like anybody else. I don't like this any better than you do. You should probably do a rape kit, too. Oh, my God. Jane, you want me to do the interview? No, I'll do it. Rizzoli, you can't go in there unless you're gonna go at her like any other suspect. I can do that. Okay. Just ran a background check on Brad Adams. You gotta see this. Did Brad Adams tell you what he did for a living? Yes, I told you, Jane. He was a colorectal surgeon. What'd you talk about? Art. Uh, my work. He, he ordered a, one of my favorite wines. Did you leave the mild benefit with him? Yes. How did you get home? I, uh, I wanted to take a cab. Check the taxi company to see if there's any record. Okay. How did your ID get in the victim's car? I'm not sure. Um, I remember walking past the valet, and then, uh, did he kiss me? I, I think he blew me a kiss. He blew you a kiss? Do you remember anything after that? Oh, no. I was in his car. She just put herself at the murder scene. No, oh, no. Brad Adams had a record of theft and drug possession. He owed $39,000 in back child support. And he wasn't a doctor, he was a bouncer at a nightclub. Oh, God. He played her. The question is why? It's getting hot in here. Where did you get those bruises? Multiple hematomas. Likely offensive in nature due to the location on the arm. This type of bruising would occur if I, if I threw a punch and it was blocked by someone's arm. Dr. Alza, are you saying that you attacked Brad Adams? I don't know. Maybe. Why would you do that? I was provoked. Research indicates that even the most docile human is capable of murder in the right set of circumstances. Now what the hell do we do? We take pictures and process her clothes. Do you think that's a right call? We don't have a choice. Better us than anybody else. I'm so sorry, Dr. Riles. You're just doing your job, Susie. We're gonna need your underwear, too. You know, I have processed hundreds of suspects, but I never truly understood how humiliating this is. But you didn't do it. You didn't either. Maybe I did. Kind of a void in my brain where there should be a memory, and I've certainly experienced the kind of rage it would take to inflict that kind of an injury. Just don't say anything else, okay? Doctor.